have in my hand evidence from Charlie Adamo in California. Gennarino Esposito has kept $200,000 from our California election campaign fund. How do you vote? Gramigna. Guilty. Hortensi. Guilty. Bonadias. Guilty. De Carlo. Guilty. Mm. De Marco. Though it hurts me, guilty. You can call the coast. Charlie, it's me. Yes, it's done. Thanks to you. It was necessary, of course. Wait a minute. Charlie, we've had another death in the family. Hotel, with their richest casino in Las Vegas, as an unexpected visitor. Charlie Adamo, the newly elected boss of West Coast operations. Adamo, ambitious to add to his personal fortune, disregards orders from the top and moves swiftly to stake his claim in this forbidden territory. Wait here. Hey, Abe, you better get out there. There's a guy throwing up all over the crap table. Mm. Let me sleep, huh? Hey, Abe, get out there. Your joint's burning up. Adamo? How are you? You're looking good. You know I love you, you son of a gun. I love you. Well, well, what are you doing here, Charlie? What am I doing here? Looking for help, that's what I'm doing. And you're asleep. What's the matter with you? Hmm. Man's got to sleep. Uh, what can I do for you, Charlie? Hey, look at that song. You know you got terrific weather here in Vegas? What's wrong, Charlie? What, what's up? No, nothing. Everything's fine. I got no kick. Except Mazanga's breath. Sat next to him on a plane coming down. Murder. So everything's okay, huh? I'm on top. It's nice. You know, from Mulberry Street to the top. Who knows? Maybe I got lucky. Hey. But I'm up there. Yeah, I heard. 
in charge of the whole West Coast now. So what's your worry? You know what, Abe? We're not getting any younger. What's on your mind, Charlie? What I'm talking about is an investment. I'd like to put some money here in Vegas. Something nice. You know what they say? They say Vegas money grows fat, and that's right, isn't it? I got Johnny to think of. Why didn't you say so? I'll find a good spot. Give me a couple of days to scatter it out a little. I'll find your place. I found a place, Abe. I'm standing in it. I want to buy a piece of the action here. Look, Charlie, I'm only a manager. 20%, how much is it gonna cost me? Not even half a percent. The owners won't sell. Well, you tell the owners that I made a reasonable proposition and I want a reasonable answer. Otherwise, something unpleasant could happen to the casino. And maybe also to them. And Abe, maybe to you. Look, Charlie, I'll find you another a good place. But the Royal, forget it, huh? Adamo not forgetting the Royal has another plan ready. A plan that calls for a specialist. Hope I never see you again. You're a lucky guy. Full pardon after 12 years don't happen every day. Here you go, Hank. Sign right here, buddy. Hope I don't see you again. So long, fella. Good luck. Rosemary's out. I got her phone number. It was worth it, eh? What? The fresh air. That air cost 25,000 bucks. You like it? Say, how's it feel to be outside again after 12 years, Dad? Must be a change, huh? Don't call me Dad. I've only seen you twice in my life. Okay, Hank. Okay. Good to see you. I'm Barkley, Mr. McCain. Hey, McCain. You want a drink? Hank! I want to show you something. Look, I thought you'd like to wear something decent for a change. I hope I guessed right on the measurements. How do they look? That door leads to the bathroom. If you need something, just call me. 
$25,000 is a lot of money. What do you want? I need you for a job. Yeah? But we'll have plenty of time to talk about it tomorrow. Enjoy yourself today, honey. seen one of these in years. Hey, you, what's yours? Rosemary Scott, this number is the one she gave to me. No trace, huh? Come on. How'd you meet her? She works for a photographer, I know. Excuse me. Hey, that seat's taken. Scotch and soda. It's bored. I said that seat's taken. What's the matter? You that lonesome? Ah, uh, come on, can't you see he's drunk? Come on. <laughs> I'm deaf. Or else looking for trouble. Man, you find your... Hey, Irene! Town these days. We're over here. Man, this chick is nowhere. Let's see. <laughs> Look, we all like our little fun and games, so let's settle it right now. Hey, Irene, about before. So I had to peg wrong, so big tricks. Who's it gonna be, baby? Bob or me? Do you know this guy? No. Do you have something going with him? You know, a guy once no. followed me from Union Square all the way to North Beach. You know what he wanted? Sell me retirement properties. Well, that's not what this guy's after, not by a long shot. You have a big turn on for him? Stay there. Got a car? Over there. I've been in prison. Twelve years. Armed robbery. I, uh... I'm looking for someone. I need someone. I don't believe you. Yeah? Where do you want to go? Where do you live?
Hey, Irene. Go on. There's two million cash here, Pop. Who's behind you guys? What do you mean, who's behind us? We've worked on this deal for two years. We aren't with anybody, Mr. King. Just us and you. <laughs> Don't get sentimental on me. All right, what's the story? You know this place? Vegas. The Royal. The safe on weekends is worth millions. The Royal, huh? It's a new place. Who owns it? It's privately owned. We thought of everything. No problems. Yeah, well, whose idea was this? Is this your idea? No, we all worked on it. I thought out the details. We need you, Pop. We need somebody with your kind of experience to pull it off, you know? It'll be hard work. It's up to you. What do you say? 50-50. Plus expenses. I decide that. Plus an advance. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Sure. Jack, can I talk to you alone for a few minutes? Excuse us. All right, sit down. Go on, sit. Cigarette? Something wrong? Who are those two slobs out there? Coot and Barkley. Coot and Barkley. They're good. They're bums. They're punks, they're fags, they're fringe nothings. Now, whose idea was this? It was mine. It's good. Thank you. What do you do? Sell women? You sell marijuana? What do you do? What'd you get the 25,000? I wouldn't give you 25 cents. What do you do? You go out and you hustle yourself all over the street. Small time. No dignity! You don't beg. That's why, Hank. I need this chance. I got tired of being small change. You're gonna be small change all your life. All right, kid, I like the plan. I'll do it my way. And I don't want those two Hollywood fags standing in my way either. And I, uh, I want an advance. I need the money. It's all ready. Go get it. Hey. Don't worry, your daddy's here. Well? Everything's okay. Now, this will do for now. I'll need more. I'll call you. 
So long, boys. Twelve years in prison, I still get a kick out of these lights. They're beautiful. They're not beautiful, they're cheap. It's an attraction for sad, fat businessmen begging for more money. For hustlers, for thieves, for pimps. <laughs> I love it. Hank, I love you. What's that? The Royal? Yeah. It's a new place. I love new places. Come on, let's see it. Seven. Get the cake. Place your bets. Ball is rolling. Two more bets. Thanks. Anytime. Good. That's five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I need some chips. There. Hi. You all right? Yes. He's a real millionaire. Take this place for two million dollars. Understand? See? All right. Let's go. Come on. Happy birthday, sir. What the hell are you doing here? Happy birthday, Mr. Adam. Que voice, putana? What do you want? I tried your office. I had to talk to you. He went for it. My old man. He went for it. He wanted to know. If I was covering for anyone else, that's all. Well, he's not stupid. Now, don't worry about me, Mr. Adamo. I'm on top of this all the way. How old are you? 20. Just do the right thing and I'll take care of you pretty good. You don't talk to me. From now on, you talk to Duke. We don't know each other, you understand? Mm-hmm. Now get out of here. Okay. You're all here we go. Get hot and heavy. Ladies hot. Come on. New shooter coming out. Oh. It's seven for the lady. Eight and one. Seven. Seven. Right. You betting next. Come on, folks. Don't be shy. The ladies lucky. It's all that to mine. Another one? All right. Here we go. <laughs> You? 
What did you tell her, Demo? What could I say? I certainly couldn't tell him you three are the real owners of the royal. Oh. Go on. What did he say to you when you turned him down? He made threats. Maybe it's a mistake to keep a demo in the dark about the royal. You know, Uncle Weed. You just upbraid the royal so no one finds out who wants it. It's best, huh? Hmm. Ah, grazie. Thanks, Abe. We all appreciate very much your loyal behavior. <laughs> Bravo. Now enjoy a night in New York. Pete, take Mr. Silverman back downtown and show him around the best places. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. So long, Abe. Francesco. Carlo. Now I want your advice. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for a priest. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Hey, wait. Charlie. Hold it, hold it, hold it. One second. Can I see you for a yeah. minute? All right, I'll be with you. One minute. Yeah, sure. Pretty good, isn't he? I think he's a lunatic. Hmm. What are you doing here? I just heard you're going to have company. Arriving from New York. Don Francesco. Oh, come on, Charlie. I just don't have the time. Wait just a minute, will you? When? This evening. Why? Didn't say. Charlie, I got a three o'clock appointment. Relax a second. Forget that, will you? Do it later. No, I'm going to do it now. You have any idea why? No, I don't have any idea. What do you think I am, man, Drake? The only thing I know is that I don't like it. He don't call nothing. He just comes. What's that supposed to mean? Things here on the West Coast couldn't be better. Must be a routine check. The hell is he coming here for without warning? Come on, Charlie. You're gonna talk or box. I want some fun, so come on. <laughs> oh! You said they would be on time, didn't you? I told you this would happen. They're always late, you know that. Who the hell do they think they are? Next time you'll listen to me and we'll leave the house an hour later. Uh-huh. You need a haircut. Charlie, I'm serious. So am I. Shut up. Frank. <laughs> How are you, Charlie? Yeah, breaking even. How are you? Fine, thanks. Margaret? Nice to see you. Welcome to Frisco. Hello, Joni. Hello, Margaret. Hello. How oh, lovely to see you. What an elegant tuxedo. Really? Do you like it? Mm. What do you call this? A pair of pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> Your wife has good taste in men, Charlie. She's got good taste in money, too. She likes it green. Well, green is a good color. The best. <laughs> nice to see you again, Mrs. Adama. Joni. Okay, Joni. Soon, I know you're bound to come. Come soon, soon, soon. So how's things in New York, Frank? Hmm? Smooth as oil. In New York. Charlie, why don't we take them somewhere more amusing? Like the bocce ball. It's fun at the bocce ball. I'm sure you're tired and want to go home. Charlie and I have to talk about business. Boring business. See you in an hour, Charlie. In your office.
I was a boy, I remember my father used to sing O Sole Mio, and I used to accompany him like this. <laughs> Delicious. Well, now to business, hmm? Uh, Abe Stilberman. He manages the Royal in Vegas. I'm sure you remember him. Well, the other day he came to New York just to tell us someone had gone to him with a deal concerning his place. What do you know about it, Charlie? Well, what did he tell you exactly? That you threatened him like an Al Capone. <laughs> and he got the best of you. I never threatened him. Hmm. Listen. When we gave you the six western states, you were told to lay off Vegas and Reno. Not to go there without asking us. Right? Hmm? Right. So, what gave you the idea you could stick your nose into Abe's place? The royal's ours. And by ours, I mean Don Salvatore's, mine, and a few others. Do you think we want an ape like you for a partner? When I took over the West Coast, it was full of apes. And the operation was in the toilet. Now I straightened it out. Me, nobody else. Now I'm taking heat. Why? For what? How the hell do I run this district if I'm in the dark? What's the matter? I can't make an investment? I'm not allowed to make a dollar? I ain't got that right? When someone talks to us about rights, he ends up like Generino Esposito, you know? And with me, you don't raise your voice. Frank, Frank, listen. I thought the Royal belongs to the competition. I don't know that you're involved. I always pushed you. But this time, it's up to the disciplinary council. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry, but I thought it was okay. You shouldn't think. Stay away from Vegas, Charlie. I don't want to have to tell you again. Will you love her and comfort her, honor and keep her in uh, sickness and in uh, health? Well, Hank and Irene, you have consented to gather in holy wedlock and have witnessed this before others. Amen. Yes, sir. There's a man over there waiting for you. Huh? Thank you. I've been looking for you every place in this town. I'm Johnny Rocco. Your son Jack and his friends were the ones who sent me here. You'd better call them, Mr. McCain. I don't know why exactly, but something went wrong with the plan. There is a little change. You'd better call them, Mr. McCain. Well, what is it? He rented a car and left with a girl. Where'd they go? Rocco didn't know. What do you mean he didn't know? How can he not know? What the hell are we paying him for? Huh? Huh? You're crazy, Charlie, easy. 
You think something's happened? Don't worry, he got the order. Tells me his own man's okay. Tells me there's nothing to worry about. But he'll be on his way here, Mr. Adamo. Right where you want him. Watch him. Keep him here. No women, no liquor. You understand? Listen, Charlie, you can trust Hank. He's okay. You've taken care of everything. Oh! Oh! Charlie! Oh! Crazy. You better cool it. Rosemary's out. Got a joint called the Anchor on Main Street. Hmm. What's on your mind? Thinking about going back into action? Yeah. I don't know. You're not throwing in with that son of yours. What's wrong with my son? Years ago, we'd sooner starve than throw in with the likes of him. You know you're ignorant? <laughs> you're really ignorant. Who does he work for? Charlie Adamo. Who else? Adamo runs the whole West Coast now. I want a machine gun. What? You heard me. Nothing? Nah, it's nine o'clock and that nut hasn't phoned yet. Your gun's better off in my pocket. Hmm? His dad put on a good act, I'll say that for him. Hmm. I don't think he was acting. What if the call doesn't come in? Hmm? Why shouldn't it? Well, all I know is if Mr. Adamo tells me to, I gotta do it. And you know, it's a pity at your age not to be able to make it anymore. You know, Jack, sometimes people bleed to death. Go to hell. You make me sick! You just better pray. He calls. Tell me where you're going. No. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hank? Hank, where the hell are you? You gotta come back here, Hank. Hank, help me. I don't care about your problems. I'm gonna give it to you once, I'm gonna give it to you slow. The address is Daly City. It's near Freedom Crossing. It's a big construction company called Acme. You can't miss it. Now, you be there alone. You be there by 10.30 sharp, otherwise I won't be there. Okay, Sonny? Bye-bye.
Hank! Hank? Where are you? I'm here, baby booby. Let's hear about Charlie O'Donnell, Jack. What orders did he give you? He gave you $25,000, didn't he? Listen, Hank. There's no time to explain. The rail job is off. You and I have to... The orders that he gives you, sonny boy, don't concern me. You're a wonderful kid, Jack. Just wonderful. Wonderful boy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Forget the Royal. It's no longer our job. Hank, believe me. You're a stupid slob, Jack. Watch yourself. Kuda and Parkley are waiting outside for you to come out. I couldn't shake them. Now, why should that be my problem? It's not my problem, it's your problem. Waiting outside for both of us. No, not me. But they said only you. Why should they want me, too? Hank, what do we do? Scream. Scream. Everything all right? Huh? I said everything all right, Dumbo. Yes, fine. Hard to get, but I made it. All right, get your little tail out of here. Everybody around here does as he goddamn pleases. Well, I had it. I had it up to here. Everybody's got something to say. Talk, talk, talk. But nobody tells me who owns the Royal. I didn't know. You know that. 
I'm in trouble right with you, Charlie. I'm so close to the top, I can smell it. Come in. Mr. DeMarco's here to see you. I thought he went back to New York this morning. Hey, Frank, how are you? Hi, Charlie. You should have called me. I'd have sent a car. Don't worry. It's such a pleasure for me to walk in California. How are you, Mizanga? Fine, Don Francesco. May I? Please. I don't know why. This city must make me feel younger. <laughs> I got up real early this morning. <laughs> you know what I thought, Charlie? Why don't we all hop over to Las Vegas? All right, Charlie? It'll be a good idea to make peace with Abe. You too, Mazanga. I know you like the place, so here's your chance to see it again. I know what you like. Thank you. Are you avoiding us? No, Johnny. <laughs> You're blinding tonight. How are you? Just fine, and you? I feel marvelous. I spent a very amusing afternoon going around Las Vegas. I also won $2,000 shooting craps. <laughs> Fantastic. Best of luck to you, Don Francesco. And to you. Abe, excuse us. Charlie. Find a phone and call the kid's house. Now what's wrong? You two still sulking over what happened. I don't like fighting in the family. It's not good. For you. For me, for everybody. Shake hands, be friends, forget about it. I'll flip you for the cost of the party, and if I lose, I'll throw in the price of the statue. The insurance company paid for it already. But if you want to pay twice, okay. Hey, you're a bandit. <laughs> hey, Frank, this guy's a regular bandit. Come here, you <laughs> bum, yeah? Uh, I love you too, Charlie.
Here you are, sir. Uh, I would like a little bit more of that. That's your salad? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Frank. Yeah? What... What's happening? Why? This sudden trip to Vegas. Charlie's worried. There's something going on. Nothing. Everything's been settled. Has it? Sure. Wait. What's wrong? I can't stand the West any longer. You've absolutely got to get us to New York. And what else? Have Charlie transferred. Joni, this isn't the time to talk about it. Not now. I've got to be near you. All right. I'll do my best. I'm ready to leave here. My pockets are clean and my shoes are dirty. Yeah, me too. Well, at least you're a winner. Not a big one. What time is it short the palace? At midnight, sir. You see? We'll be late. No, it's just around the corner. Have a good time, folks. Thank you. Well, hello there. Well, I don't think they're here yet. Hey. Excuse me, do you have a light? Sir, will you take that to room 808? It just went out, sir. We'll take it up anyway, please. Sir. Nasty business in your area, Charlie. Find out, let me know what's behind it. Yes, two on plan on 17. But that's not all. I left the table to come back up here, and 17 came up the third time in a row. Marvelous. I'd have to think it over. This is the fourth call I've put through. 
No answer. Look at this. Get me on a plane to Frisco. Get the next plane. Everything all right? Yeah. 11.49, give me a hand here. Explosion in the filling station, location North Vegas Freeway. Attention, second brigade. Three alarm fire at Sierra Lumberyard. Second in Boulder, South Las Vegas.
Charlie. Do something. What am I going to do? Where's Frank? Downstairs with Abe. Does he know anything? No, but he will if we don't turn up. But don't worry. How could he know about McCain? Even if he finds out, we had nothing to do with it. How much? Enough. Too much. How much do we have in there? One million eight hundred thousand dollars. The police. Call the police. I'll take care of it. You take care of the place. Yes, sir. Understand? Yes, sir. Go on. Sheriff, there are 18 people badly injured, and another 20 or so not so bad. That's all I could count so far. The sheriff. Yes, sir? Well, a lot of noise, a lot of damage, but... A lot of folks got hurt, Mr. DeMarco. Yes. That's the most painful part of it, of course. So, please, tell the people that our insurance company will pay them generously. Uh, let's not let the press overdo an episode of limited importance. We can't have the prestige. Come on. The prestige of the royal compromised. Uh, would you be so kind as to take care of it yourself, would you? Sure. I'm very grateful. Have a cigar. Come on, sit down. I also hope to be able to find whoever's responsible as soon as possible. Responsible for what? But, Mr. DeMarco, uh, what about all the... Who do you want to hold responsible for a, an unforeseen breakdown of the air conditioning plant? Come on, sit down. And the fires that broke out at opposite ends of Las Vegas? Why, coincidence, Sheriff. Coincidence. Not even worth talking about them. You want to know something? Within two or three months, the Royal will reopen more beautiful than before. And uh, this unpleasant accident will be completely forgotten. Completely forgotten. Believe me. Excuse me, eh? Where are we going? Better lie low a while. If Regan's a friend, he'll put us up. California, then? First we go to Arizona, then we go to California. under the pardon, they said. Huh. Bene, Frank, capisco. See, si, it's all clear now. Well, for the moment, I want you in command of the West Coast till I find another who's qualified. Every one of us here in Nova York is available if you need us, Franco. Okay. Fammi sapere. Bye. Salvatore? Peter, telephone to Mr. Bonadillas and to Gramigna and also to Hortensi. I want them all to come here at once. And you are being assigned to a special job in San Francisco. Very good. And in New York, the stock market closed with the Dow Jones averages up three points. A bomb scare panicked guests at the Royal Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas last night, injuring several of its patrons. For reasons not yet clear, the air conditioning plant erupted in a series of explosions, fortunately causing only slight damage, according to a hotel spokesman. However, no appreciable loss was suffered by the casino. Dallas, a tornado cut through. That's 
looks right. The weather's improved and the race to run on schedule. No entries scratch so far. Here's the lineup. Del Bush, Mucker. Hello? Yeah? She's Rated beautiful in the third at Saratoga. Under across the board. Okay. Yeah. Body snatcher and gun rabbit, huh? No, Sonny Boy's been scratched, been disabled, they say. Countess Peggy? Countess Peggy. L.A., this is New York. The pictures will be here in two hours, with lots of the girls, all recent. A few of McCain taken 12 years ago. Okay. Okay, yeah. We have both names here in Chicago. We'll have some photos by 3 o'clock. Okay. With $2 million at stake, the organization network of operatives and contacts mounts a nationwide round-the-clock vigil to block every means of escape. They're boarding right now, sir. We've got an 802 at 5th and Main. Brian, report to Pershing Square Station. I thought you were on nights. Well, I was, and then they pulled me off night duty altogether, without a reason or anything. Well, I don't ask questions. Damned if I want to be transferred to Watts or someplace.
Rest. <gasps> Who are you? What are you doing here? What do you want? Hey. in West Los Angeles. That makes it easier. Don't be smart. Hmm? Peggy, get me Los Angeles. Watch yourself, Peter. Yeah, don't worry about me. Take it easy. I'll try that one again. You gave the guy the <laughs> business, huh? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up. Hank, let him go. Who is he? He's nobody. He just helps me around. Get out. It's OK, Steve. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a lot of work, you know, just staying alive. Don't worry about it. I'm not. OK. OK. You're the only person in this world I can trust. Come here. You come here. Oh, 
Hey, am I glad Rosie to see you? <laughs> Here we are like a couple of kids. So what? Right, so what? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you really look morbid. Oh, yeah? You don't look so hot yourself. You're all grayed up. So what? I got my personality to pull me through. Oh, yeah, you're a real card. Right. Time short, right? Yeah, life short. Yeah. Look, you just tell me what I can do. I got a couple of friends I can trust. Just, just, just tell me what to do. Nothing. Chuck Regan, he's, he's got me a couple of passports. Passports? Are you kidding? They're watching everything that moves. I don't know. Mexico, maybe. What about Mexico? No. Look, I might be able to find somebody I can get you there. I'm not alone. We're married. Ah, uh, she's a kid. Uh, I got her on the beach uh, with the two million. With the what? With the two million! What beach? On the, on the, whatchamacallit, the uh, Golden Sands. OK. I'll get this set up. I'll go get it. It's been 12 years, Hank. What the hell's left for us, anyway? Still, I never thought I could do without you while it lasted. What a trip, huh? Irene! Irene! Let's go. Okay, it's all right. He's got a cabin cruiser, Long Beach. It's gonna cost you a hell of a lot, but it's the best I can do. You better stay here tonight. All right. You're coming? You go ahead. How'd you get tied up with a kid like that? I don't like to be an I told you so, but uh, you should have come home. No. Hey, Rosie. Isn't it late for you to be coming home, Mrs. Scott? Come in.
please. Sit down there, Rosemary. Let's have a little talk. Do you know who I am? No. But I know what you are. And I know what you want. Perfect. So we avoid wasting time. Where's McCain? You don't really think I'm going to tell you that. I'm sure of it. I can be very convincing. Not with me. Why? Are you so different from everybody else? Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing all that crap about you two. The machine gun lovers. Hank McCain. Hmm. And Rosemary Scott. That's right. Hank McCain and I are different from you. Well, now, you just tell me where McCain is, and I'll have the pleasure of making his acquaintance, and I'll be able to find out how we're different. Okay, Rosemary? You might as well get it through your pretty head. I'm not going to tell you one damn thing. Hmm. I think you better. Or you'll never want to look in a mirror again. Well, before starting this beauty treatment, will you allow me to have one cigarette? Sure, go ahead. We seem to gather. All right, go ahead. Is it too breezy for you? No, it's fine. Thank you.
nada. Hey, you crazy? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Let's get out of here. All right, Irene. Come on. Just tell them it's the money we want. All you do is convince them to give it up. Okay. 